repairing professional teeth or tooth bleaching to no budget bleaching. So, a quick story. I actually don't have quite white, white teeth or head in the past. And therefore I looked into, because I also wanted to do a video in the future and also pictures and stuff like this. Therefore, and it's also when it comes to increasing your attraction, not attraction, but attractivity, it's also quite an easy fix because you don't really need to work out for like six years to like get decent results when working out. But you can just buy a set from Amazon, for example, or get your teeth bleached and then you have whiter teeth and everybody, it's not that everybody notices it on a conscious level, but at least on a subconscious level, I mean, it's there. There is also something called the halo effect, meaning the more attractive you are, the easier interactions with other people in life are, because then the thing is this. Uh, if att attractivity is something that stands out as a characteristic, for example, um, take just a look at the Hollywood stars, that's probably the main characteristic of many Hollywood stars. I mean, also, this, this doesn't mean they're not smart. It's just that this kind of overshadows all of the other characteristics they might have. So this means if somebody's more attractive, then we just assume that this person is also more intelligent. We just assume that if this person writes a book, then it's more interesting, um, better that this person, if it speaks, if, if the person speaks the same way, and we just assume that all the other things are basically a little bit more positive. That's kind of the halo effect when it comes to attractivity. I mean, this was like one variable, but I also had like pretty yellowish teeth. Therefore, I kind of decided to at least try to bleach my teeth. I mean, there were these sets, these cheap sets available, and there were also like, uh, there's basically expensive bleaching. This means going to the dentist and um, bleaching your teeth at the dentist or getting a home bleaching set at the dentist. So, first of all, let's kind of um, dive, into, dive into the science behind bleaching. Bleaching is actually the process of just getting rid of the color in your teeth. So this doesn't mean they get whiter, but just be, white is basically not really a color, but it's just the absence of colors, at least when it comes to um, white kind of as a color, because when it comes to physics, white is basically all the different colors combined. But that's just something different. This is also the reason you can kind of split white light into all the different other lights with a prisma. So let's just take, um, I just need to take, I just need to look up one single word, which is hydrogen peroxide, I think. But I just want to be sure that that's the right one. So hydrogen peroxide. So it's called hydrogen peroxide. That's basically the component that kind of is the bleaching component that takes out the color. So for example, in the past, I also kind of bleached my hair, as you can see here. I mean, this is kind of my normal color and also the sun and salt, for example, bleach your hair and also UV radiation. But nevertheless, I kind of had a bleach blonde and that's kind of the same, same method. It's using water peroxide, not water, but hydrogen peroxide to just take out the color. And it takes out the color pigments out of your hair and also out of your teeth, if you have it, in the bleaching gel. Gel. So now, here are the different options. But basically, there are three different main options. And the three different main options are two options at the dentist and one option at home, kind of. They're also, glad. There are also kind of two options at home. I will go into further detail if we then cover the home bleaching part. When it comes to going to the dentist, there are two different methods. The first method is just bleaching at the dentist and not taking anything with you at home. And the second method is just getting basically these braces or these things. These are not really braces because they are, don't align your teeth, but just these things. You, I actually could look at another word because I just don't want to describe the words I actually want to use all the time without saying them properly. This is kind of a thing I do all the time because I just cannot look all, up all the words for all the videos I make in the future. Therefore, let's just um, let's just look it up. It's called bleaching Shh. splint. It's called a splint. So now, what you can get at the dentist is kind of these splints that are kind of aligned to your teeth. This means. If you then take up the bleaching gel, so this is basically, there's a difference again, 
when it comes to the hydrogen peroxide. The thing is, hydrogen peroxide is something that's quite dangerous when it is not applied at the right at the right place. For example, if you just put it on your skin, your skin will probably get really itchy, I guess. Therefore, it's kind of a medical component. Therefore, because the dentist is kind of, at least within Germany, I guess also within Europe, you cannot get something with a certain percentage of water of hydrogen peroxide with it on the free market. So you cannot just buy it on Amazon or in a drugstore. This means if you, so this is kind of the main difference between professional bleaching and non-professional bleaching is that you, this uses different components. This is something called carbamide or something like this. I don't you know the English word for it. This is kind of a different bleaching method. This is, the thing is, that water, that hydrogen peroxide is pretty much um, standard, the go-to bleaching method. Therefore, it's kind of, I guess, the most efficient one. Nevertheless, in my experience, um, it's quite the same comparing these two. So comparing the one I got from Amazon, the bleaching material and bleaching shield, and also the one I got from the dentist. So for me personally, I didn't want to ru ruin my teeth by trying out something from Amazon. Therefore, I went to the dentist and I had these done. There is also now a different method, as I already mentioned, at the dentist. This basically means you can increase the efficiency of the bleaching method of hydrogen peroxide by applying UV light, just like with the hair and the salt in the summer. This is why hair often gets um, brighter when you go for on a vacation on, at the sea. If you use an, a UV light, and this is what they often do at the dentist, they just increase the efficiency, therefore it's just faster. This means if you go to the dentist, you can do a method called power bleaching. This means they apply basically a bleaching gel, which has a higher percentage of, of hydrogen peroxide, and they just apply it. And then it just is faster because actually it takes out the color out of your teeth better, faster. And they also apply UV light. This is called power bleaching. What I did was called home bleaching. And I mean, it is quite expensive. So it was like 200 euros, I guess, for getting these done. And then the bleaching gel, again, compared to this is quite cheap, I guess. Also, so now I got these done at the dentist and then they just explained to me what I had to do at home, which basically means whenever you sleep. So the, the, the bleaching gel with the, at least in my experience, with the hydrogen peroxide is sensitive to temperature. This means you should cool it in the fridge and then you just apply it and then it kind of loses its, its efficiency once it's applied or once it's in the splint and in, in your mouth. So this means that you cannot really travel with this thing or whenever you move, for example, it's kind of very complicated. This is kind of a constraint that's not very pleasant, I guess. So now, um, I tried it. I bought bleaching gel with hydrogen peroxide, then at the dentist, and I just did these. So I used these, and I pretty much got my teeth down to a kind of normal level. I mean, it, the thing is, you kind of have it in your own hands because the only thing you need to vary is the time you have it in. Obviously, also just cooling the things properly. But the more you bleach, there's also, when it comes to bleaching in general, there's kind of an efficiency curve over time that goes like this. At the beginning, it's the increase in whiteness kind of is very huge, and then it flattens out, basically. So the more you want to get the whiter teeth once the, the main color is already out, the harder it gets and the, the longer it takes. This means I pretty much got my teeth down to a kind of a normal level of whiteness, you could say, because I had pretty yellowish teeth that were like seeable in pretty much every picture that wasn't like black and white. So this was kind of thing I was also self-conscious about because I just had pretty much yellowish teeth in the past. Probably, I mean, I already said it, I guess, probably due to a little bit of malnutrition or just genetics, I don't know. Now, I got my teeth bleached down to a decent level with these and I still have these. This is kind of very handy. And the problem is just you just need access to a dentist that actually sells these bleaching materials all the time and I also moved to a different city entirely and I also I just wanted to maybe simplify the process and therefore I just was like I bought these bleaching things at the dentist and also something different to notice 
the natural color of the teeth, and if you have a kind of yellowish teeth, then it kind of turns back. If the if the stain on the teeth is not from coffee or alcohol or something else, or caffeine, not caffeine, but actually nicotine, so from cigarette smoke, for example, which also just makes them more colorful, I guess, then it doesn't really return. But the problem is if you have like naturally kind of yellowish teeth, then it just returns again because these things just take out the color, but the teeth are not a... a so hair, for example, is dead. Once it's out of your head, it's dead. But teeth are not. And also fingernails, for example, kind of the same concept as hair and also kind of the same material, I guess. But the teeth are not. They are living things, just like the bones. They are actually kind of similar to the bones. Therefore, there are actually um, blood vessels in the teeth. This means the teeth is a living thing. Uh, this means it re just returns to its natural color if you stop bleaching. This is kind of a bummer. Nevertheless, it's just how things work and therefore you just kind of have to accept it. This means if you actually want to have your teeth bleached for the rest of your life, you constantly have to bleach for the rest of your life. This is kind of a thing I didn't really know. I thought like, oh yeah, just bleach my teeth and then it's just done. Nope. It's basically signing up for a bleaching subscription till the rest of your life if you want to keep a decent level of teeth whiteness, uh, which sounds very arrogant or I don't know. Nevertheless, I wanted to simplify all of this because it was like very complicated. I had to actually call the dentist and like, do, do you have like this bleaching material? Because it's not something like everybody does all the time. Therefore, they I just wanted to make sure that they had it in place if I went there. And then you actually have to go there during daytime because that's the opening hours. Well, kind of complicated process. And also, if you move to a different city, you also have to find a different dentist that sells things with hydrogen peroxide again. So therefore, I was like, why not just give these home bleaching sets a try? Because basically, what could happen? In the past, I had like, um, I had like thoughts about this just being not very healthy. And also just in general, I think if you, I mean, this is stuff that bleaches your teeth. If you just swallow it, it just bleaches, yeah, well, a lot of things in you, I guess. But nevertheless, these things probably are not healthy. So you should actually try to not bleach during the night. But then again, do you want to run around like during day, eight hours? The thing is just, it doesn't really work in my experience. So, I mean, that's kind of quite technical and also kind of maybe disgusting. Nevertheless, if you have these splints in your mouth, on your teeth, the thing is usually the saliva that's in your mouth or the saliva production just doesn't naturally stop. And if you close your mouth, you also just might... That's kind of a different thing, but I have kind of something called bruxism. This means whenever I sleep, I basically bite my teeth together and like all the time. This means it's kind of a problem, at least for me. So what I did is I just took a bandana and it looked very weird. Nevertheless, that's kind of how it worked. And also it kept the mouth dry because the more saliva obviously get gets into the splits, the less, so the more, the more the bleaching material actually gets diluted and the less efficient it works at putting out in, it is in putting, pulling out the color out of your teeth. Therefore, I just use the bandana, maybe also something for you, and I just put it in my, in my mouth and then I just um, wrapped it around my head and then I just slept this way on my back. And just kind of worked and also you don't it's a little bit more difficult to sleep actually uh, well but that's kind of what it takes i guess so now let's actually try to compare the efficiency of the home bleaching kit and also kind of cost efficiency um usually um i had like these are much thicker much thicker things they are actually three milliliters um i don't know how many milliliters the ones from the dentist were but they were like one or two i guess so Less milliliters. So this one, this whole set together from Amazon, this was pretty much the one that had the best reviews. It's called Teeth Whitening G Geal 10 Sur Geal and Free Teeth Molds. And it was 25 bucks or maybe 30. And oh yeah, there's actually something. It's actually not available, at least these days. And it also is in German, therefore you would not really find this helpful. It's called White PR. And well, there are also like sets with UV lights in it, also 
to just increase efficiency, also kind of handy, but I just didn't want to hassle around with like also a UV light and then you have to charge the UV light. I just wanted to have something for the rest of my life that would be kind of simple. And the only thing I basically need is my splints. I have still from the dentist and I also just need bleaching material. That's it. Because I have a bandana or something like with me all the time and also that's not strictly necessary. So now I just tried these from this set. Also to mention, there are molds in here. What you need to do is you actually just put them in hot water and then you just put them over your teeth in terms of, um, in terms of, there are probably a few dangerous things in there, but because it's plastic, nevertheless, if you then put them onto your teeth, they also adapt to your teeth, but probably not as nicely as the ones from the dentist. I have them already, therefore I just used them and I just didn't use the other ones. I mean, I wanted to try out the process, but if you just compare the sizes, also, usually, I mean, many just recommend just, just bleach the front teeth. Why? Because then you just need less, less bleaching material and the other ones aren't visible at all. I don't know if it's just for me or perfectionism, but I just wanted to have them all equally bleached because if I smile, for example, then more teeth are visible and then it's like, yeah, well. So if we compare the sizes, for example, I mean, the one just cover all teeth and the other one, the one from the cheap set, don't cover all of the teeth. You probably can get bigger ones, longer ones, nevertheless. That's just what was in the set. So I actually put in the put in the new bleaching material into the old splints and it actually worked quite as nicely. It's not that you, I mean, that's not like a, a scientific experiment where you just put them in for eight hours and then you compare the efficiency. If you had like 20% more saliva production in this night or I don't know. Also, when it comes to judging how white your teeth are, it pretty much depends on the light source, how yellowish the light source is and how actually something you look into, like a camera is. So there are a lot of different things. Also, in this set, there is actually, there was like a guide in there, which is something usually only the dentists have. And if you printed it out, then again, there's the problem that you would have to quality control how yellowish the things are and if they actually are really as true yellow as they are. Therefore, having something in there that's already printed out and probably standardized is something that's very useful. Actually, we could just take a look. I actually took a look at my teeth already. Uh, yeah, probably. I, I just cannot see it very well um, here. The thing is, I also have, I pretty much also have a teeth so one of my front teeth is pretty much dead, as so really dead. Therefore, the bleaching of this teeth was also something that was like kind of necessary because it just got more yellowish over time because it's just dead. Like the last 10 years, it's just dead. It just sits there and yeah, well, that's another thing entirely, I guess. So now, um, I mean, you can get to the best level of teeth whiteness, obviously, with either something like this or something from the dentist. In retrospective, I wanted to be sure that I didn't hurt my teeth or because there were also stories that just said that if you put something on your teeth and it actually opens them up and then and then the problem is if you then have something very colorful, basically the the surface on your teeth gets like grainier and therefore if you now ate something, for example, like hummus, yellowish hummus, then it just would stick to the teeth much more. And the particles would just get in your teeth. This is something I heard. I think it's still true. Nevertheless, at the dentist, they said, no, it's totally fine. You can just eat whatever you want. And also, but I mean, there's probably just is a reason why most of the dentists just say you shouldn't drink coffee for the next 24 hours or something like this, because the pores are just wider, I guess. And therefore, it, I think it kind of makes sense. Therefore, I would also, I mean, I haven't really stuck to it but I also don't usually, I just don't drink coffee anymore, at least at this point in time. And I also usually don't eat something that's very colorful apart from vegetables and there's a lot of water in there. So it doesn't really matter, at least to me. So I just don't care about having something colorful during the bleach, bleaching period. So overall, retrospectively, I was like, well, it was that easy. I just had to order something for like 30 bucks from Amazon and all the appointments at the dentist and all the worrying about yeah, well, but you never know before, so therefore I just wanted to, I mean, teeth, when it, at least when it comes to repairing them, are probably one of the most valuable items in your body. I mean, livers are also, everything in your body is quite valuable and also takes quite a high amount of money or much money to actually repair it. But when it comes to teeth, for example, if you have a broken 
teeth, tooth, and you need to actually completely repair it. It is like anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand bucks per teeth. And that's like insane. You can also get teeth insurance, but that's another story entirely. So now, in retrospective, I just should have gone for something very easy and just buy something for 30 bucks off of Amazon. And John would have probably had the same effect without all the appointments and also without spending that amount of money at the dentist. So I hope I could help you understanding the process a little bit better. Also in the beginning, I talked a little bit about the halo effect, which is something that's there. And if you don't use it to your advantage, you just don't use it to your advantage. I mean, it's your choice, but fixing your teeth. I mean, obviously also aligning the teeth is something entirely. So in my, in my case, for example, that was just something, I just had braces when I grew up and also braces are not covered by health insurance in every country, most countries only until you are 18, for example. So, I mean, I live in a very nice country and I am kind of very privileged to have braces. There are also like these aligner options that just look like these. They're just like a little bit harder where you can actually kind of seamlessly, um, this is something I, I, I got bombarded with ads about these aligners in the last years, I guess. And this is something where you can use to straighten your teeth. Nevertheless, my teeth are pretty much straight. That's very nice. And so I hope I could help you to understand the whole process of bleaching a little bit better. And I don't want to talk anymore because I just don't want to bore you with teeth bleaching anymore.